In the event that you lose an impeller blade, it's important to find the missing piece. Disconnect your battery power and remove the cable from the starter motor. If your generator is mounted with an impeller catcher, simply remove the impeller catcher. It's mounted with a 10 millimeter bolt. Follow your out outlet hose and find the impeller catcher. Generally speaking, with the impeller catchers, your piece of blade is typically found in the catcher. All you need to do for that is shake the catcher and have the blade piece fall out. Once you find the piece of the impeller blade, make sure it fits together like a puzzle piece. Then you're ensured that you have all the pieces of impeller out of your system. If your generator does not have an impeller catcher, the most common place the impeller piece will be is at the entrance to the heat exchanger. To check this, put a rag underneath your hose for the heat exchanger to catch any water that might drain out. Undo the clamp, pull the hose out, feel around inside the, the housing with your finger, and with a little bit of luck, it'll fall out into your hand. If you can't reach the impeller piece, take off the three Allen head screws with a five millimeter Allen wrench and remove the cover for the heat exchanger. In the event that you need to move this hose clamp or this hose is in the way, if you remove this, you must bleed the cooling system. If you can't reach the piece with your finger, pull off the cover and the piece will be inside the housing. When installing the housing for the heat exchanger, inspect the O-ring on the heat exchanger for any tears or imperfections before installing the, the housing cover. If it's not, in the heat exchanger. Remove this hose and check to see if it's in this hose. An alternate method to find the broken impeller piece is to back flush your system. To do this, we're going to take off the hose on the back side of the heat exchanger. Install a garden hose to this nipple. It's 3 quarter or 19 millimeter. Remove the hose on the outlet for your water pump. And position this into a bucket. From here, you'll turn on your water hose and flush fresh water through your cooling system and wait for your impeller piece to come out. Once you find your impeller piece, you're going to want to match it up on your broken impeller to ensure that all the pieces are found. Another common place for impeller pieces to be found is in the siphon brake loop. To do this, locate it on the boat. Remove the loop from the bulkhead, typically installed with two or three Phillips head screws. Remove the hoses from it and inspect inside this loop for the broken impeller blade. Put the hoses back together, start your generator, and check for water leaks. For more information and further assistance, contact your local Fisher Panda dealer or our service department.